What is going on everybody? It is Master Wolf here. Welcome back to a brand new Clash of Clans video and happy Halloween everybody, especially my cousins over the pond. Uh, all of you guys from America, I know how much you celebrate this holiday. So happy Halloween to you guys and to celebrate it, we are doing the scariest raid possible in Clash of Clans. Now I asked you guys, what was the scariest troop? And I started up a poll and you guys voted. Uh, it may have changed now because obviously people will have voted since, uh, but it says the witch is 34% agree it's the scariest, then the pekka at 14%, then the lava hound at 10%, so they're the three top three scariest troops available in the game, and that's what I'm going to raid in, uh, the minion came up fourth, the dragon fifth, and the golem sixth, so uh, you know, it was pretty pretty obvious, to be honest, I thought the uh, the golem or the dragon would have been in there, but no, it is the witch pekka and lava hound, so we're kind of doing a go wipe, uh, but it's actually a, a low wipe. A little wipe. That's what we're going to call it. So, I've already done one raid of this, uh, and we're going to go have a look at two of them. I've actually been lucky enough now to get two Halloween headstones. You can see i got one there, and I've got one over there. I don't know whether I should open up one of them, or keep both of them. Tell me in the comment section below, guys. So, let's go and watch this replay uh, that I've just done. Now, I actually got 39% on here, um, and I realized I didn't bring all the troops possible. I could have brought more troops, which isn't a big issue. If anything, it's more of an accomplishment that I didn't bring all the troops. Uh, but you can do the math down below, and you can see I could have brought another Pekka or a few more Witches, etc. So I throw in first um, some Lava Hounds on this base. Now, this base was actually pretty hard. The reason being is there's loads of stuff on the outside, and I have no wall breakers to break into the center. So I've got to be careful about what I do here. What I've done... Uh, is I've spawned up witches like so, uh, two on the right, two going to the left, with my king going to the left, my queen going to the right, which opens up a nice central area here. And as soon as one of the witches starts going for the wall, which she is now, I spawn up my peckers, and the peckers go straight for that wall and break into the center of the base. Now his clan castle troops run out really quickly, so I zap the load on the left with the barbarian king, with the new scary lightning spell, and my peckers are broken into the middle, where I rage them up, and I rage up uh, with a heal as well, so it's a nice real spell going on there. My witches, my peckers, my queen all go into it, get healed up, get angry, and start pushing into that center compartment where the town hall sits. Now, they actually go for the town hall really nicely. The town hall drops quicker than anything, and he's actually got an open spot right here. Let me just pause that. Hidden behind the town hall was an open wall that you can go straight into the center. A little bit strange in my uh, in my eyes, but hey, this is what he wanted to do. Uh, my king, my wit, sorry, my queen, my witch, and my peckers now are all raged up. I dropped a heal in the middle, which is where the other peckers went. And sadly, my queen sat just outside the heal zone there as she got hit off, which is really, really annoying. The witches uh, got blown up then by the giant bomb, and we are left with just a few peckers that sadly missed the dark, uh, dark elixir storage and go for the queen instead. Don't know why, uh, but they wanted to do that. Luckily, once they've taken out this air defense, one of the peckers turns around, retakes that dark elixir, and gets a little bit of it. So, we got the first raid complete. We hit the town hall hard, which is pretty cool, uh, getting us 100,000 elixir, 50,000 gold, and 409 dark elixir with eight cups. So, are you ready to go and do the scary raid once again? Let's give this a go. We're going to go and find a base that the scary raid hopefully can take over and at least get a two star. <laughs> We want to find, if possible, a Town Hall 9 would be quite nice, uh, or a Town Hall 10 with an open compartment on the bottom like that seems pretty cool. Uh, but we're going to skip forward and see if we can find something a little bit better. Ah, this guy's Inferno Towers and Expos are completely run dry, and his loot is all in his collectors. This, to me, shouts out that he is not active anymore, and we should take this guy on. We're going to attack uh, using the Lava Hounds. We're going to attack from the left, the right. And uh, we're also going to attack right up. Actually, I think we should attack from the left and the right. So let's do this. We're going to spawn in two sets of Lava Hounds like so to start up as a distraction. We're going to spawn in those. Uh, two Beckers and two Beckers on that side. And hopefully now they're going to push in and take out the Collectors. I actually went for the Collectors here rather than uh, going for the base itself. Just because of the loot in these Collectors was pretty nice. Uh, we're going to use a Jump Spell right there to jump them over that. Hopefully they'll want to go over it. Uh, only one Pekka sadly has, the others haven't, uh, but let's drop a Rage Spell on the side, along with a Heal Spell on this Pekka as he breaks into the center. Um, let's help him out as well with that King, because that King is going to go and try and take him down. Oh, we able to take him down? No, the Pekka's not going to do it. Go on, Pekka. Yes, the Pekka's taking him down. The Pekka has won that battle. It looks like we're going to be pushing for more of a 50% in this raid. We have got two Pekkas breaking into the center, which I will rage up now. Sadly, they are low on health, but if they take out that cannon, we could be in a possibility to get the Town Hall as well. 
So we're dropping the Pekkas around the outside. This Pekka is going to get that final barracks to get our 50%. We have got the 50%, but sadly, that is it. But the loot in this raid was pretty nice and pretty impressive. Um, so I am definitely happy with that. Do we have any more troops ready? No, that is it. And that is the raid over and out. Getting 400,000 on that rather than going into the center and winning for the town hall was definitely worth it in my eyes. Uh, if you find a base like that, it's always best to go and take the loot, which was actually pretty easy to do, probably thanks to all the skeleton stuff I had. So there we go, guys. There is the scariest troops in the game raiding together. We got one where we rushed in and got the town hall, and in the other one, we got all the loot. But most importantly, we won both both the raids. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do smash the like button down below. Let's see if we can get this up to 2,000 likes to celebrate Halloween. H Halloween? Halloween. And also comment what your favorite troop is for the Halloween special. What is the scariest troop in your eyes? But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Peace out. You.